Hey guys, Ben here with Stringer Bridge Farm. Today, uh, I got some kind of bad news and then I got some even worse news to kind of share with you guys about what's going on our farm. Uh, I guess I'll start with the bad before the worse. The bad news is, is we have been super unlucky with the rain. We were forecasted over the last about two weeks to get, I don't know, something like three or four inches of rain and we've gotten about three eighths of an inch of rain. So our property is getting extremely dry. Our ground is cracked up. Our grass still is not recovering. Uh, I am running out of pasture. We're not quite to the point of having to feed hay, but uh, we're, we're, we're starting to get stretched here with grass. Uh, just we've, we've had no rain all summer. We just, we've had a little break in the heat. We're still, uh, upper 90s and 100 some days but it's not the 105 every single day but we're having kind of a rough time with the rain now what's worse the worst news is uh i had one cow this cow right here so she was our last cow to breed so we had those few early calves and then almost all my calves fell within about a three week period so pretty much one heat cycle except this cow she uh just had her calf today and uh, it's about six weeks after the last calf I had. So she was with both bulls the same amount of time as everybody else. By far the last one to breed back. You know, it was kind of a pretty solid strike against her. So yesterday evening I came and checked. She definitely didn't have her calf as of yesterday evening right before dark. Today I came out here and I could, I could clearly see she had a calf. So I started looking for the calf. It took me a little while and uh, I did find the calf. So good news is all the other calves in the field are doing really good. If you have a weak stomach, you probably want to turn the video off at this point because uh, I did find her calf dead and it's a little strange. We've had weak calves before. I mean, maybe she had it early in the night and it was just weak, but uh, the calf was dead when I found it and I kind of want to look at it with you guys and see if anybody has any thoughts about what it might be from. So again, got a weak stomach. I'm about to show a dead calf, so you may want to turn it off at this point. So the calf is right here. Like I said, yesterday evening, the mama cow had not had the calf. She had it either during the night or during the day today. I was at work all day. I got home from work. I checked the cows. It could be as much as, uh, I don't know, 18 hours old um, at this point. But a few observations I have about the field and this location. So this cow, this would be actually her second calf. She's a three and a half year old cow. Her first calf, she turned into kind of the, the nanny. So she was a little late having her first calf. Uh, and she was just taking on any calf, not necessarily being real motherly with her calf. So. I did end up having to pin her up with her calf last year for a couple of weeks, and then she was a great mama thereafter. Now this calf, if you look around, they're in this huge field, I know my mule's in the way, they're in this huge section of this field. And every cow I've had that calved goes somewhere to hide their calf. They may go inside of a patch of trees, uh, in the tall weeds, something like that. But for some particular reason, this calf is out in the middle of one of the sunniest spots in this field. Now, I don't know if the calf got up and walked over to here uh, or what exactly happened, but the calf is not totally stiff yet. So I don't think it's been dead too long. It's a little heifer and it looks very emaciated. So I know it never ate, uh, but I don't know what it died from. And I don't really know how to tell we haven't had very many stillborn animals that were fully formed like this uh, looks like the vultures got in and pecked the eyes and stuff out since but the calf looks natural it was obviously cleaned up very well by the mama and then uh you know i don't see anything that looks real weird to me i think the calf looks it looks like it should have been a normal healthy calf but it is kind of peculiar that it was born out in the middle of this field. So I'm not sure what to make of that other than most likely it was the mom had it here. And uh, I don't know why that's not the normal cow behavior. And that I don't see any visual signs on this calf that tell me here's the main problem. You know, I've kind of moved it around. I don't 
There's no major broken bones. It was obviously cleaned up well. The face is clean, so you know, it wasn't like uh, every now and then you get one that gets stuck in an amniotic sac, something like that. So I'm not sure what to make of it, but I do find it really odd it's out here in the middle of this field. Now the mom over here, she's kind of searching and she keeps mooing. You know, she knows something's up. So she shows decent motherly instincts other than she just had the calf out in the middle of a hot field. So it's kind of frustrating. It's kind of sad. I hate dealing with these things, but it is a part of uh, having livestock and it's a part I really, really do not like. So here she comes. She's coming. Check it out again. This is a beautiful cow. She's a big, she's one of our dark color cows i mean she's a really nice cow but uh i'm not sure what's up with this it was her first calf you know maybe i cut her some slack but i did have to put some extra energy in her when she had her first calf last year and because we had the bull shenanigans, we weren't breeding the cows back immediately. So she had a calf. She had like eight months to recover. And then we put them with the bulls. So she should have had plenty of time to be ready to get bred back. So to be six, six and a half weeks late like this is not good either. So I'm thinking I may pull her out of this uh, herd uh, in the next day or two as soon as I can get them moved. And she may go in, she may have to go in the feed pen uh with those steers and get her fattened up and uh butchered in the spring because this is terrible not a fun thing to deal with and i don't want to have to deal with it again so i pretty much gave her a strike on her first attempt and this is uh, a strike out right here this is not good they've always got mineral out Only one, uh, only one to fail this year. So anyway, I know it's kind of sad. I know it's kind of gross, but uh, I think I'm going to drag this, this little calf out of the field and uh, go bury it. I got the excavator back there. I'm going to go bury it, and I guess we'll just move on. So another thing I did notice about this calf is when I went to drag it off, flipping it all the way over, is the bottom side of the calf never got cleaned. So the face, or the side of the body, everything's all wet. And uh, so what that kind of tells me is that the calf never actually moved. So the calf just stayed there laying on that one side, which I'm pretty sure it was dead when it was born. So not sure what causes that in cows. Uh, we didn't see it with anything else. So I really hope it's not any kind of disease related issue. And, uh, or nutrition really but I do find it kind of peculiar to have such a well-formed calf that uh, born dead so maybe got stuck maybe it was breech I guess it could be a million things not being there probably never gonna know so anyway I'm gonna go get this thing buried just in case it's something weird and I don't know maybe we'll figure something out <laughs> 